Okay, I wanted to make this video um, for a bunch of TIs who I've recently seen on their channels. They're, uh, one of them I saw, and you know something? I, when I saw, you know, their, you know how they acted, how these TIs acted, it reminded me a lot about myself. When I uh, first got targeted, I'm sure a lot of TIs um, can agree on that. When uh, this stuff, this th this whole thing of what they do, it's all intent. It's all set up to you know constantly attack your characterization. You know your character constantly label you off as a threat, and to um, you know it's. It, it is very sickening what they do. It, it truly is. I've made videos to try to give people a better understanding of the type of individuals we're dealing with. Um, they're, they, they can go right up and torture somebody and they will not have any empathy for it. They'll desperately do whatever they can to protect their own uh, so they can cont continue to do what they do. Um... They don't give a. I, I, I can. I can honestly tell you uh, from the bottom of my heart, they do not give a damn about any of us. Okay. Um, any form of government, any form of uh, what, what, whatever it is. I'm sorry to tell you this. I've said it before, but all of it's controlled by the enemy. The only, and this is what I'm. I'm. This is just coming from me. You can, you know, in the end, whatever you do with your life, that's entirely up to you. But um, I'm just being, you know, as clear minded on this as I possibly can. Hence, while I'm getting off the grid, while I still can, because uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of TIs notice how desperate these um, gang stalkers have gotten. I watched Malik's channel earlier and um, I've already warned him like not to even go to the motel. I'm guessing the officers are like using threatening gestures to, you know, coax him to go there. I don't know. But um, what they if I for for, uh, for one thing I can easily tell you what they did because they tried the same shit with me and I didn't fall for it. They tried to get you into a uh, you know a controlled environment. Now the first time this happened, I did fall for it and I didn't realize how serious how you know how you know the situation was. You see, they wanted me to move uh, somewhere closer to my job, but not just anywhere closer to my job. They wanted me to move into an apartment complex to where they had video cameras all over the place so they can keep watching for when I was coming and going so that they have control over the structure of the environment. Same thing. It's not that I haven't caught a few people signaling out to that camera above my door. I already know they're always looking through that um, as well as possibly any hidden equipment in this apartment unit. So uh, now they're getting desperate as a uh, part of right now and i'm certain they've gotten desperate to every other ti it's because the, the situation being as serious as it is the one thing they don't want you to do is leave and go off grid when i go off grid i am abandoning all structures of the system completely and i'm doing nothing but living off the land and that's all there is to it you can go out you can fish you can go out you can hunt you can do all of that stuff to actually earn a living or should I say to earn, um, you know, some, you know, to get some food or whatever, you can easily build your own shelter as long as you, uh, you know, got the know how to do so, which is one thing I urge people to do because, um, uh, I can tell you two things that they've already started doing to where a lot of people are not aware of. They started pulling, uh, you know, change from the machines now. So you can't, you won't even be able to get pretty soon. You won't even be able to get change at all. Um, this was later confirmed with the um, on Awakened Worlds channel. She showed a video on that, and um, she said that they were doing it over in the UK. Like you wouldn't be able to get changed. Like all of it was nothing but cash. So the first thing to go is the change. The next thing to go is the cash, to where it's nothing but Bitcoin you would be able to use and to spend. That is their whole plot. As far as doing that, I'm not uh, wasting my time with crap like that. I'm just getting off the grid and I'm done just done um i made certain to uh, have my equipment uh stationed out to where well it'll be a lot easier for me to basically keep track of the situations understand when you go somewhere people show up out of nowhere those people are perps now they use the public to blend in 
That's why it's very it's sometimes difficult to tell them apart. But when you see scripted behavior and start to re recognize the signs, understand everything they did was meant for you to see. And other people really need to wake up soon because this is a threat that's not even just been threatening TIs for day for years, for generations, even for decades. This is something that's also in a threat of them because they said they want to vaccinate the entire population with this stuff that has not been tested. Once I leave, I have absolutely no desire to return back on uh, to, uh, you know, on the grid at all, because it's going to get so bad to where you want to like if you wait, if I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 100 percent with you. If you sit there and wait as long as you do, you can take my word for it or not. It's entirely up to you. But here's what here's the deal. What's going to happen It's going to get to a point where you won't even be able to leave your apartment. And the only way for you to be able to leave is either your apartment or your house doesn't matter. Um, it's going to be at a point to where like the only way you're going to be able to leave is to take that stupid vaccination. You know what that vaccination does and you do not want that in your system. You don't. Um, this is already since the wording of that has already since been gotten out and they use a very communist excuse to do it. Trying to say, well, like you're, you know, since you didn't get vaccinated, well, you're a threat to the population. You're a threat to the citizens around you and stuff like that, which is a bunch of bull. We know this is a bunch of bull and we know they're just inflating the numbers. So. Honestly, the crap that if you all want to know what brought me to the point that where like I was just completely fed up. I did not even give two craps about losing the job that I lost. The only thing I was like, you know, something this it, it, I already knew it was going to happen sooner or later. The only thing I was just like, what am I fired? Am I fired? Am I fired now? Am I fired now? I literally kept asking him, like, you know, quit jerking me around. Just tell me, you know, what I want to know. Just quit fucking with me. Just be, you know, just completely straight to the point so I can get stop wasting my time and go on and do something that's actually productive instead of being around a bunch of narcissistic, non empathy, um, demon worshiping um, individuals. And that's exactly what they are. If you're working for people, I don't care if it's for money. You're basically working for the beast. If you're working to do this kind of stuff to people, you're working for the beast. If you're working to support stuff like that, you're working for the beast. This could even imply to this. Even this is also implied to people who are actually are not even aware that they're working for the beast. Now, that given, once you find out, um, then is your time to basically, you know, change it point of standing or you can continue working for the fat you know for a communist system like that or are you going to help the people out and basically help free them from this madness people can do it but the problem is i, I, I am seeing so many people who are just let me give you let me give you a breakdown on how on what most people i want to say like around my age and younger are fixated on Dude, these people are fixated on when the next game is coming out. These people are fixated on like when a, when the next source of entertainment is coming out, stuff like that. And it's just that like, I mean, I I still play video games from time to time, but like I'm not allowing that to sidetrack me from what's really going on here, you know. And to see people completely that oblivious, that's a very dangerous situation. Um. To them, not just to themselves, but the people around them. Like I said, we're dealing with people who are just not, um, who, you know, just aren't that in tune to really look for the truth. And they just assume a lot. They have a very tendency to just assume things, you know? But, um, yeah, ever since this situation, as I've seen it, like, you know, something... The only reason why I'm even able to survive as long as I have is because I have experienced this crap, uh, this stuff uh, at a younger age, like I told you all before. At least I think I, I ran that by you all. Could be wrong. I don't know if I uploaded that video or not because I did a lot of um, it was a lot of uh, noise harassment going on when I made that video. So I, I, I may have had to edit that one. But um. In any other case, from one thing uh, that I realized that, like, I was, you know, it was a lot of um, psyops going on with me when I was a child. Um, you know, kids would basically just be, this was happening from, as far as I can remember, 
it seems like the whole thing was systematically set up to, you know, keep me from succeeding from the get go. Me and I mean, like they kept me in suppression when it comes to uh, knowledge. They would teach the teachers who I was dealing with would teach me some things, but they would not go beyond that at all. It, it never went beyond that. And for some and for some strange reason, I was constantly being moved around from state to state. As soon as I like it would it would be at the exact point before I'm able to learn anything new. Boom. I moved to a whole nother state. So you see, I had to, I was just, re, you see, I had the constant loophole there, right? I was just relearning what I've already knew. That was it. It took a teacher, uh, one special teacher who actually saw this and, um, you know, saw the work I was doing. It just seemed way too easy. So she decided to basically give me something uh, of a different you know, type. And that's when I started, re, you know, learning uh, multiplication, algebra and all that stuff. When I come to realize I've actually created a method to really do that stuff quite easily. So the more and more I kept learning, the more and more I started to become more obvious. For some strange reason, I was just being, you know, there was a lot of people out there suppressing knowledge from me. It just became even more apparent when I had joined in the uh, community college. This was when I was older, going to school on my own two feet. And apparently, you know something ain't right when you're an adult. And you got people when you actually are just trying to, you know, learn, you're not there for no bullshit. You're just trying to learn, get your damn GED and that's it. Exp can someone just, you know, like, think about this scenario. You, you do that, right? And your main concentration is just to get your education. Well, how come all of these guys in your classroom just so happens to just decide, you know, have an attitude against you to talk? Start threatening you, saying, "Oh, well, like we're gonna, you know, we're gonna jump him at the end of, the, you know, when he gets out of school." Like, where is this motivation to cause harm to me coming from? From people I really don't know. I hope Ti see what I'm getting at. This whole thing, for some reason, it's been a setup and a psyop to prevent me from learning. Ever since I was a child, I don't know what it is. They, it must have been something they were afraid of to do this. I don't know. But there's been a lot of different case scenarios with the bullying that has been happening uh, when I was a child. And it's because of that that I'm able to be as strong as I am now. Because like I've, I've encountered stupid crap like this before. So I know how to um, deal with it. Um, I know not to just put um, you know complete trust in people. I know better than to do that. Everybody should know better than to do that. You know, Always expect the unexpected. But don't ever allow, don't ever, and I don't, I do mean don't ever allow distrust to prevent you from moving forward in any way, okay? Don't. If anything, moving forward that seems like it would benefit you, you know, help you get safer in a safer situation, because I'm telling you, um, staying in the cities is not going to be safe. I mean, you could, it's up to you whether you all want to stay, you know, in the city, but I'm telling you, it's it's just not going to be safe because it's going to get much, much worse than you know. I look on these. Uh, you, you ever notice how many subscribers that are on these entertainment uh, YouTube channels? I'm seeing there's people who have over like millions of subscribers. Some people who have around like 50 uh, something uh, K, 100 something K. A whole lot, and these people are just obsessed with video games, you know. The only they, they, they uh, whenever they do mention something about the whole uh, pandemic bullshit, they only talk about what they you know what sounds like it's only being mentioned from the news platform. So there's still quite a lot of people who are still asleep, but it doesn't mean that people are not waking up. But um, we need to really, if, if, if there is ever a chance to turn the tide, it's definitely to wake people up. But, like, it's going to get very, very dangerous because of what they have um, in the city. And it's already been installed. And, you know, some, a lot of people, you, you notice how, like, they love to divert attention from that stuff. You know that? You ever notice that? How they love to divert attention, uh, attention from away from certain things? It's crazy. TIs, I shouldn't, most of you who already know, I shouldn't even have to tell you that it's going to be dangerous when they turn, when they do, do to everybody else what they have been doing to us for quite some time. Um, it's going to be bad, very bad. 
Again, I've stated before, and I'll say it again, they do not call it Agenda 21 for no reason. I'm guessing they wanted their plan to be completed by the year 2021. So a lot of people also don't know about the year 202030. Here's the thing. Um, this whole mess, this whole mess started from the government, started from the United Nations, started from both factions. All of it is just being controlled by the enemy. So anybody, I, I, I posted that last video so people would come to an understanding. These, if anybody who is in office is a Mason, they took an oath, people. They took an oath and they're going to die by that oath. I'm sorry to say it. But some, someone needs to say it. We can't depend on them to solve our problems no more. We, hell, we couldn't depend on them in the first place because they were, the, you know, they were responsible for the majority of the problems that the, you know, the citizens of all countries had to deal with. You know, damn near all of it. From the crime, from the drug trafficking... The uh, and not just the drug trafficking, the human trafficking too. So on and so forth. Only to have people amongst us, and here's where it gets really fucked up, people. There, there were there could be people amongst you who seems like uh, you know just ordinary people, but you would have had no idea that they had their hands involved in this gang stalking shit. You would have had no idea. You would have had no idea that they were involved. I've seen old women gang stalk people before. I've been gang stalked by old women before and old men. Not just them, but also families and their kids and so on and so forth. You would have had no idea how sinister and how low down this organization that does this to people is. I've seen enough to know. And they know not to, you know, not to really go too far with me because I know how to sh I've proven to them multiple times. I will flip that situation to where it puts you out on the defensive. I mean, I don't mind proving that a few more times. And they know I'll do it. But now it's not the time for that. No, there's too much infighting going on. There's too much. Uh, there's too much corruption going on for people to ignore. Seeing videos of people, you know, getting upset because they didn't see what they wanted to see for their, you know, Nintendo Direct or freaking uh, the PS5 Directs and you know, Xbox Directs. I'm just like, dude, dude. Do you have absolute, and these are for the people who are asleep, do you have absolutely no idea what is really going on here? While they're relaxing in their homes, playing their little video games, or doing, now I, again, I, I, I love playing video games too, I even watch anime, but I don't allow that to divert me from what's really going on. I know better than that. Now, while they do that stuff and they still go to work and whatnot and just, you know, just live out their lives for however long they're going to be able to live their lives with the comfortability that they have. Or should I say the illusion of comfortability? And you see, that's you see, that's the catch 22 about that. It's not to them. It's not the land of the free. No, it's the land of um, you're only as free as we allow you to think you're free. That's how they have it. But people, this is supposed to be the land of the free, but um, we've been uh, tricked. They made U.S. very appealing to come to because they had ideas for having to, you know, for having for it to have various methods of control. That's what it was for. It was nothing more than a damn you know, a bait and switch. They lured there with promises, uh, with false promises of freedom. Are we not experiencing, uh, you know, co communist fascism right now? It's 
crazy. It really is. But the more I think about it, you know, something, look, man, I don't care if I die. I, I really don't. I'm not afraid of death, and I'm sure as hell not going to be afraid of it. Because you want to know something? All fellow TIs, that's what they want you to do. They want you to fear that. They want you to, not even just fellow TIs, everybody, they want you to be afraid. They want you to be so afraid, they will say anything that comes to mind as long as it puts you in a state of fear. Everything they do to try to, you know, intimidate you, to, they will literally say, and they, a Matrix Adjustment mentioned this too. They, they, had one, they had this goon approach him uh, saying that he was just going to point play shoot him. People, these are these are the kinds of uh, crazy individuals we are dealing with. I'm glad Matrix is definitely armed because, like these uh, these people, man, and, you know, it gets worse than that. Stu, targeted citizen, he uh, had some one of the, one of these goons had snuck up in his house and gave him a tent, you know, gave him. A non-consenting tetanus shot while he was being hit with these uh, directed energy weapons. These same weapons that can basically put you in a, uh, you know, a temporary base sleep coma. The same ones that can send you, uh, you know, tinnitus, as well as micro, which is also um, another form of uh, microwave hearing. You ever notice, T.I.'s? That there was some point that they had to lace you with something before this stuff started happening. Because I know that's what happened with me. It's not that I didn't get tinnitus at a younger age. I had tinnitus. I just didn't know it was tinnitus at the time. But now I know that there's something a whole lot more to this stuff. And it's a shame that like you don't realize this at a younger age. Because like you get so exposed to all of this crap. You eat so much of that poisonous food excuse me and you have absolutely no idea the sinister that's behind all of that the stuff that's in that food the stuff that's in the products you've been using all of that man the people you're around the only thing I want to be able to do it's helped as many people as possible, but um, I'm not finna stay on the grid because like that would be no different than suicide. To me, that that's this is just me, but that would be no different than suicide, considering uh, what is going on with the riots and stuff. Considering uh, you know the the amount of danger that is happening out here, like it's just. You, and here's the here's the thing, I want nothing to do with that crap, right? But they want they want to find every little bit of reasoning to have something to do with you. That's the bigger picture that I'm seeing. And that's the whole reason as to why I'm getting off the grid. Now, once I'm off the grid, the situation is going to be different, way different. Um, these are. Uh, these people who do this, don't give them your don't, don't people, fellow TIs who are still newly targeted. This is my warning to you. They want you to be in a state to where you start threatening people. They want you. And I've seen this because I know I know I know because I have experienced this before way long ago when this stuff first started. And it's very, it's very, it's very, it's very um, corruptive because like the whole structure is set up against you. Not, I, I'm going to repeat this. None of your neighbors can be trusted, period. Most of them are a part of it. Most of them already know about what's going on. They're not. This is why I always make announcements when it comes to me tracking down my evidence. I do not acquaintance myself with anyone who lives in this apartment complex, period. I don't I don't seek out to have anything to do with them. I keep to myself. That's it. Now, what they're doing, whether it's illegal or not, hey, I take my evidence down when it's when I, when, when it's needed. People will be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. And here's the thing. When people see this and hear this, 
people who are looking to end the, you know, this corruption, what do you think they're going to say when they see the faces of these people who have been doing this to people? What do you think they're going to say about that? What do you think they're going to think? That's one thing that these people who do this don't ever think about. They don't ever think about what could happen. What could happen if a revolution did spike and, you know, people put an end to this terrorism and they find out that, you know, you were involved in causing this harm to people. They don't ever think about that. They um, they have this false sense of comfort, everybody. They do. But at the end of the day, these people aren't that much different from a lot of people. They're still people just with different beliefs and a different, um, you know, mentality. That's it. That's it. A different religion, a different mentality, and a different objective. The only other difference is that they stop at no links to achieve that something. And I do mean no links. They can do some of the things that, um, that would be very unforgivable. Hell, they'll even force some people to do some things that are very unforgivable. And hold that against them. Other than that, I'm not. But for me, from all the threats I've received, I'm still here. I can, I cannot even recall how many times I've had my life threatened by these perps, and yet I'm still here. It's because of that that I realized it, that, you know, something. And I did put a chart out on this that was exposing their system. When they, if they threaten your life, I'm not saying that there won't be a chance, a, you know, a certain chance that they may not put their hands on you. I'm not saying that at all. No, I'm not saying TIs haven't died due to this target. You know, p plenty of people have died. Some people even committed suicide because of how bad it gets, you know. Some people have committed that, man. It's a very uh, dangerous platform uh, of what this program is doing to people. It really is. It should be quite obvious but to some people that um, if you hadn't watched those last few vids. I highly recommend you to because the people responsible for all of this is happening I said it before, uh, I'm going to say it once more, they are running out of time. The people helping them out, the people be accepting that dirty money, they're all running out of time. Why do you think they're so bothered by the truth? Why do you think they hide things? Why do you think they lie? Why do you think they change things? It's because they don't want you to be, you know, to catch wind of the fear that they keep hidden within. That's why. These gang stalkers, they're afraid. They are. And it's because, they, I mean, I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I did watch Nappy Headed Roots' channel, and there was a, a perp who actually came out and uh, mentioned and actually just spilled the beans saying that they sign, a, don't they sign a non disclosure? Like if they get caught, that the people who hired them are not liable. I'm pretty certain that is actually a legit thing because that shows you the fact that they would have to sign something like that shows you should be clear as day that the people who hire them don't really give a damn about the people, you know, who do this. They don't Dude, these perps could die and they would not give two fucks about it. None. They wouldn't care. They just find, you know, you know what they would do? They find the next best person to basically replace them. That's it. Do you really think I'm going to, you know, waste my time giving my all, all my energy to these perps who have basically long since sold themselves to, uh, you know, the root of all evil? No. The, the only thing that they 
you know, does that, this is why we're living in a materialistic world right now. People are just obsessed with materialistic things. I didn't catch, I didn't even figure this out until like I started getting older and started really seeing stuff, of, you know, what it was. Dude, when you die, you can't take any of this materialistic crap with you. You can't. Why do you think the devil is so damn obsessed to get hold of your soul? Why do you think that? The devil wants your damn soul because that is the most that that thing is more valuable than any piece of collateral you will ever have in this world. Ever. That's not something you can just replace. That is your actual existence. People don't think a lot of people don't think outside the box on this. You can't go out of your way buying that materialistic crap. If you don't have an existence. Right. So when it comes right down with a lot of us who are awakened, we know who to really fear and it ain't the devil. No. So the more these perps continue to do the crap that they do, um, I got something for them. Yeah, I got something for them. It just came in today. I'm going to show you all this. Just give me a minute. Just give me a second. Because I remember a fellow T.I. told me it's stuff like this that they can't stand because it's a message you don't even have to use actual you know you don't have to speak in order for the message to get clear and i highly recommend other ti's do the same it don't have the message don't have to look like mine it doesn't however something like this that basically you know spread awareness there you go also make sure you always keep tape on your camera lenses because they are trying to you know, Apple already came out and admitted that they are trying to peep and Tom through people's phones. Not like they haven't been doing it before, though. And, of course, they've been doing it before. But, um, it's just stuff like that that really bothers, bothers them, you know. And, again, I want people to understand. They won't show that emotion of that it bothers them. But all you need to know is that it does. That's all you need to know. That's the whole reason why I showed that one video about, um, you know, that bus, that bus scene you all saw. Don't I want you all to under there's a reason why I show I reshowed that video is so people don't make that mistake. Don't give them energy because it's a waste of your time. Your bet, you know, you're you're worth your time is worth more than gold. OK, why do you think they're so desperate for it? They are so desperate for your time because they know they don't have long for, you know, they don't have very long of this earth anymore. They don't. That's why they're trying to, you know, kill off as many people as they can, but they can't just do it. It's not that simple. Nobody who is willingly, you know, wanting to die, they can't just do that shit, man. You want to know why? You see, they can they can do whatever they want to the flesh. That's one thing. You ever wanted to know why, you know, suicide was such, you know, was such a high full sin? Well, think about it uh, of a person who actually, you know, just, uh, you know, takes another person's life just for greed. Not even in self-defense, just for greed, just for money. Think about that. Think about why they desperately try to put you in a state of depression. Think about why they always try to put you in a state of fear. You have, if you ever watch some of the interrogation videos that you know that got that gets leaked, showing a lot of these invet you know these investigators doing a lot you know a lot of unethical methods to force people into a state of you know confession. And by the way, they have used these weapons to do that too. Yes, they have. Oh, they definitely have. 
I've dealt with inve- I've dealt with an investigator before, and then just in a few minutes, the guy didn't even want to talk to me no more. Because I flipped the situation out to where I was questioning them, and they don't like that. They want to question you, but they don't want you questioning them. Now, how's that fair? TIs, don't waste your energy out on these perps. If you're feeling stressed out, check my playlists. I have one specifically for PTSD that will help you out getting a, you know, getting a rid of a lot of that stress, a lot of that stuff. I highly recommend you do download those tones while you can before they shut stuff down because um, once it's gone, it's gone. That's it. It should be quite obvious that they have been shutting, excuse me, channels down already if y'all haven't uh, realized that by now. And uh, it would be a shame that anybody you know who would benefit from that stuff wouldn't be able to get to it. I mean, I've got them stored on a removable, you know, drive. I highly urge everybody to do the same. But you know, I'm only one guy. As a, you know, but at the same time, as you all as you all have seen, I'm just one person. But look at how much information I've been able to gather up to help spread the word for people who didn't know about it. So now that they can do the same. I'm just one person and who did all of that. Some of the, you know, most of not all the research that I posted on my channel may not have not have been my own research, but I still was able to share the message to make sure it got to people. You really think that they're not afraid of you? That, listen, they have more reason to be afraid of you than you would ever have to be afraid of them. And that's the whole that's the 100 percent truth. Understand when these gang stalkers do what they do. Everything that they're doing is illegal. Everything. The whole op- the whole damn operation that, the, that they're involved with is illegal. They sign a document that states that the people who hired them are not liable. I'll repeat that again. They sign a document that states that the people who hired them are not liable. Now, what happens when you start going after the gang stalkers? Per, you know, personally, not including the, you know, the direct the energy web, but just saying, no, this person is just stalking me. And you keep you keep right on that person's ass with that case. What happens when that ha- we know when it comes to that? That's a message to the rest of the gang stalkers who they hired to stalk you. That's saying you want to go ahead and be like, play it, play that game. I'll play it right along with you. I'll literally make sure I gather enough evidence to ensure that I'll literally sue you for everything that you have done you think that won't you think that won't catch the gang stalker's attention because it will since the situation changes when you know you are immediately just fixated on ensuring that they pay for what they've done what do you think the motivation with with the motivation is going to happen with the other gang stalkers you know i shared a video of this guy and his family how they were, uh, you know, it was this constant, um, you know, gaslighting with the with the horns, you know, gaslighting with the horns. And they would always do that around their home. This dude documented every single one. He had lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit, just suing them left and right here and there, dude. And it got so bad that the news felt the need to... <laughs> It got so bad, and they got so damn scared because, um, dude, that whole at that point, the whole he was gonna they were on the verge of exposing an entire illegal operation throughout a neighborhood. Imagine that lawsuits in er, against damn near every resident in the area, damn near not all. Of doing this, you know, all doing the same thing, all doing the same thing, and it, you know what makes it worse? The uh, the you know one of the uh, family members of the uh, the fire chief was the one who started this. You know, the local fire chief was responsible for this stuff starting in the first place. And you know, you know, the one thing he said they gave him away. Oh, oh, my daughters. Oh, they they, they only honked their horn. Just, you know, just to, as a means to say hi, to let him know that they were leaving. Why in the heck would his daughters need to alert that family that they're leaving? 
when they don't get, you know, when they don't get along at all. What's up with that? Does, T.I.s, doesn't something like that sound familiar? They do stuff to get your attention. They do stuff to sire up you. The truth, the whole thing that you need to understand, look, if you are really want to go there, your best bet is to go after the, you know, the gang stalkers, but be smart about it. You know, don't go after them. Let them come to you. Because understand, they're out there to set you up. Take reconnaissance, take video footage, take audio footage. This is what I always do. If I'm ever in a, and they know this too, whenever I am in a conversation with any of these people, I always have my audio recorder going. Just let one of them try that board, that BS with me. Go right ahead. Because I will use that as a loophole to get, you know, to get aid on something that they don't want me to have. I've mentioned this before um, with the prior incident that happened at my job. You know, what, how, how a female worker at the job, you know, I busted her basically recording me on private property against my will. I didn't get consent to it. She was stupid enough to do this right in front of a, you know, security camera. So I'm like, oh, happy day. Let me go straight up to HR. And so I do that, right? Now, they trying to say I approached her. I didn't. I went straight to the uh, manager's office before I even went to the HR office. I didn't, I, I didn't approach the woman. I shouted at her. I pointed at the video camera. And then I went to the, you know, then I went to the office. And I went to the HR office. And they come up, well, she's saying that you approached her uh, violently. Okay, then since that's your excuse, then show me the video footage. You can't just go off and accuse somebody of something like that unless you show them the evidence, because otherwise you're breaking the law. You see what I did just there? I used her as it since she wanted to fuck around and turn a, tell a lie. I used that lie she told as a stepping stone to go after them. And they didn't want that. So what did they do? They withdrew it. Saying, oh, it was just a misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Nobody don't just accuse somebody of some shit like that, saying, oh, they came at me directly. I would have had to have literally done that. She would have to see me within, I don't know, a few inches of her if I was doing some shit like that. And I'm quite certain I probably most likely would have been fired on the spot. Did I get fired on the spot after that happened? No. It didn't. So when you really want to uh, take this to court with them, you got to look for openings like that. That's why it's very, very uh, useful to learn the law, learn uh, a lot of the things that you can use against them, because think about it. They have to maintain an image. But uh, T.I. Don't get you know, don't get too ahead of yourself. This is only for the lower based things. Anything higher tier than that, they're, they're really going to fuck with you on that one. They're going to railroad the crap out of you with that. They're going to just try to, you know, do do trial or whatever. They're going to try to basically have it to where, oh, we got to continue the investigation on this. Even when the evidence is blatantly obvious, dude, that also charges them both money and time to do that. So you think they're going to waste their time for someone who signed a non-disclosure to... Uh, no, the only time they would ever go that far is to even change the judge is if like you're going way high with the situation, like because at the same time, that's dumb pulling strings and that's dumb having to use assets in certain areas. Again, the whole thing is structured against you, but you really think they give a fuck about any of the gang stalkers they hire? Of course they don't. They don't. They really don't. But um, again, the, the court system's rigged. If anybody didn't know, again, like if they really want to prevent you from winning a court case, the only thing they're going to do is just buy for time. You know how expensive a lawyer is nowadays? And that's where I'm getting at to where like, you know something, it is, this is not a situation where we can just depend on the government. We got, you know, us as the people need to pull together. This is what really needs to happen. Us as the people need to pull together. And start doing things on our own. That's what needs to happen. Screw what the government wants. No, no. The people need who is responsible for this crap need to be un, you know, elected out. And we need to put people who actually can be trusted to actually do what's best for the people in. Or better yet, just abandon government altogether. 
just completely abandoned it. Just abandon govern governance because it's not going to do you any good with damn near every person, not everybody, but damn near every person in the government is a Mason. It's not going to do, do you any good when the police force is has Mason masonry in it. It's not going to do you any good when the uh, Catholic churches have masonries in it. It's not going to do you good any good at all because as you all saw in that last video, they are all under oath and they all do nothing but look out for themselves. Not for the people, but for it. They, oh, they'll look out for the people, but it's not the people you think. It's not us, the people. It's the people who basically are, um, you know, are their people. So they're not going to give a damn if some people die. They're not going to care if some people's kids get taken away because in the end, I mean, they're the ones responsible for it in the first place. So again, this video is just a little warning to fellow TIs out there to you know, just give them an understanding. I get it. The situation they're doing is very stressful, but you need to understand they're going to do whatever they can to upset you. The whole point of why they're doing the little crap that they're doing is because understand they're filming you too the entire time whenever you react they always have someone you know filming they always have that they always have someone to play witness they always have someone to do this and do that it's all a setup it's all a damn setup people need to wake up to this crap by now because it's like they're coming up with any just you know any excuse just to do this that or the other Police can't force you to go nowhere. Police can't force you to do anything. They want to stop somebody? Okay, what's the reason for that? Don't get excited when they if they try to stunt like that. Don't get uh, upset. Because uh, if you get like that, the same thing, like for instance, let's say like you sign a legal document, but you're under duress, like you're stressed out, you're upset. And, uh, you know, you're signing a legal document. Did you know that um, any legal document that's signed under the rest can be thrown out? So it's very important to understand that they're constantly trying to put you in a state of uh, anxiety. They're doing many different things. This is why it's like whenever I leave out, I always have my audio recording going. Even if they say some verbal harassment, fine. I'm not accepting of this. I'm not consenting to it, but that's more evidence for me that I can stack up. So whenever, and you see, I do this in certain, in files. I'm going to show you all this soon. I do all my evidence in files. Whatever happened at this location, fine. Okay. I got that as evidence. I can put that in a file. I have it dated down. Time too. When I start the recorder, I always give the location, the date, and the time. I don't do a whole lot of narration. I just do enough to alert, uh, alert the uh, recorder of where I'm at, what's happening, and what's going on. The glasses take care of the rest, the visualizations. And understand, when you make a video into a compilation, Having it dated and timed. What do you think that's what do you think people are gonna think when they see something like that? They they'll see that that's literally having a window that leads out of uh you know the fake reality into the matrix of which they've been trying to hide from people. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope this definitely this little information does help a lot of TIs out there. I mean, I get it, like you know, hurting for funds and all that stuff. But you need to understand, get off the grid while you can. Get some tools, something. Start looking up to build either a log cabin, either go out on the sea, something. Because what's happening now, unless people, I'm still willing to fight this. I, I, I still am willing. I'm doing my part in spreading information, and I'm telling people the names of my channel too. I'm telling the people, you know, a plain truth for you. I'm telling the people Jeff censored. I'm telling them the names of these channels so they will understand, so they can see this, so they can tell other people, so they also will wake up and won't fall for the, you know, the bullshit. But, like I said, I'm only one person. And, you know, if things get too far out of hand, and which is kind of leading to, 
um, I'm gone. That's it. I did what I could. That, that, that's just it. I'm willing to fight, but like I'm not finna uh, stand in the middle of round zero while it's you know while the ship is going down. That's just bad judgment there, and uh, that, that's just my opinion on that. I'm not gonna uh, do that. Um, again, I'm willing to you know I have reached out to certain TIs, but as you all know, it's a very difficult situation because they do YouTube has been known to mess with your comments. They have been known to even mess with your emails to where you won't even be able to get in touch that way either. So that's another problem. Every single issue that has happened is always dealing something with the damn system. Some way more than the other. That's why I am abandoning it for good and I'm not looking back. Once I'm gone, that's it. There's nothing anybody can say to convince me to come back onto the grid because... If anything, the enemy is going to want you to come back because like the one thing they don't want you to do and T.I.s, again, I am warning you, this bullshit that's going on, they are just buying for time. They don't want us to leave. They don't want us to leave. They don't. They want us to stay here. They want us to stay in our apartments. I mean, Wayne Morris showed a uh, video that showed people who were trapped up inside their apartments. They couldn't leave. They had officers in and out the hallways, man. Those people couldn't leave. You think that same crap is not going to apply to these idiots who are stalking me in this building if that happens? Of course not. They're going to have to, you know, do the same shit. What happens if, he, if someone on the outside who's aware that this is happening catches footage of, footage of them leaving? What do you think people are going to think about that? These idiots don't think about that. No, they don't. And you see, here's the whole, this, I'm going I'm to I'm leave this in closing so people understand the idiocy of, um, you know, the idiocy of what we're dealing with with certain people, man. These people who are gang stalking us, most of them really are idiots because, again, they poison the skies. Don't these gang stalkers breathe the same air? Of course they do. I've witnessed a gang stalker drink a uh, high fructose corn syrup even after... I specifically kept mentioning, dude, I had shouted the name of my channel over five weeks in all different areas at my job. And they're still, they, the last time I checked, they were, when I last saw them, they were still eating stuff out of a microwave. They were still eating processed foods. They were still uh, drinking and eating high fruit foods with high fructose corn syrup in it. And I'm pretty certain because <clears throat> I did see someone use Axe bodies, the Axe uh, stuff, the smell good stuff. I know I've gave a, a strict lookout list from all of these products, a lot of these foods, because if you, I'm telling you now, if you are under the effects of directed energy weapons, DEWs, the ingredients in that food, the ingredients and that bathing stuff, the ingredients, and any of that crap is all working in line in unison with that weapon to heighten its effects. That's why they put the stuff there for a reason. They didn't. T they don't want people telling you this because it would defeat the purpose. And this is why my, you know, the effects and the attacks that I've been going through have been way lesser than they were before because, like, um, I don't have that stuff in my system that heightens it. I don't have it in my system at all. But it doesn't mean they don't try to continue to poison me either. Oh, they do. Hence why I'm leaving and why I prefer to be around the sea. Because around in the sea, you have a lot of salt. And all that water, understand, a lot of these nano cannot stand, you know, salt like that. So what are you going to think is hap what do you think is going to happen if I dip into some seawater? Just take a quick guess of what would happen. It won't be able to, the stuff that it's made out of won't be able to survive. Um, considering a lot of the, you know, good properties that seawater goes. And you know something? You can actually, seawater can be drinkable as long as you distill the water. I know how to distill water. I know how to make a cabin. I know how to hunt. I know how to fish. Well, as far as hunting, I haven't really had that much hands-on experience, but... 
I had some visual experience. So, you know, practice makes perfect and everybody, you know, there's a first time for everything on that one. But uh, that's the kind that's the kind of mindset people need to have, man. If we can't, you know, some even if we can wake enough people up, it's still not safe to stay on the grid. It's just not. It isn't. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. TIs, I hope you having you know having a wonderful day too. Minus the targeting, because I know what they I'm I'm well aware of what they try to do all the time. But you know something? I've learned to uh ignore it because you, you need to understand. Um whatever you whatever they doing to get you to react, that you ever notice how they continue to keep doing it? It's to get you the whole point of them doing it is to get you to react. That's it. That's the whole point of that. That's the whole point of it, is to get you to react. The reason why they're doing this is to get you programmed so that they can have control over you. That's what it is. That's what all that it is, is to have control. These people that do this, um, some of them are probably already controlled themselves. And a person who is not controlled I would I, I would just basically if I'm not mistaken a person who's not controlled you know probably is most likely without a doubt a threat to people who are controlled because that person's unique spontaneous personality or their unique personality um, it's basically as it sta stated as an example and I know this because when I started asking my cousin that they threaten her and I talked to her on the phone I wish. I seriously wish I had recorded this phone call, but now, TIs, whatever phone call you have, even with relatives, please, please just record it, okay? You can use the screen recorder to do it. You can have an audio recorder to do it, do something. But I'm telling you, it's very important that you do that because that's not only going to be for your protection, but chances are if you have a family member who is not in compliance with their BS and they are forcing that person into doing that stuff, that will give you evidence to use on their behalf as a testimony if this ever finds its way to a court case. But anyway, I'm going to end it there. Stay safe. Stay strong, everybody.